Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sir. I thank the honourable member for the question. I rise to address an issue of both environmental and cultural significance. The relocation of the Singatoka Rabbis Dam and the broad agenda of sustainable waste management in Singatoka Town. The current location of the Singatoka Dam, Mr. Speaker, sir, poses really serious concerns. The current location has been a dump site since 1949, about 75 years ago. Not been, not been any concrete uh, steps taken to address, even change the site. Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, the site is positioned near two of the most very precious assets, which is the Singatoka Sand Dunes, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and the entrance to Singatoka Town from the Nandi Way. The Nandi, so the dump, threatens the environment, public health, and the image of the town as a gateway for tourism and economic development. So the Christian government recognizes the environmental degradation caused by the proximity of the dump to the Sand Dunes, which jeopardizes not only the ecosystem, but also our cultural heritage. The frequent fires at the site release toxic fumes that endanger health of nearby communities and tourists. Moreover, as a gateway to Singatoka town, the dam creates negative first impression, potentially discouraging investments and tourism, which are key to the region's economic growth. The response, Mr. Speaker, sir, as your parliament of the ministry, in collaboration with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP is committed to a long-term solution for waste management in Singatoka. Mr. Speaker, sir, it has taken 75 years to come this far, but the Kulisa government is committed to address and resolve this issue. It's also part of the new National Development Plan, plan on the solid waste management, as articulated in sub-chapter 8.4. And one of the and one of the KPIs is one landfill in the Western Division, as well as one recycling, recycling plan for the next three years. The speaker sir, the ministry is actively working with the council and UNDP on the, the investing in coral reefs and blue economy project to establish a modern sanit sanitary landfill on the Western Division while transforming existing dump sites into efficient collection and sorting centers. This initiative was endorsed by Cabinet June 2020, 2024, also includes the re rehabilitations of four dump sites, which also includes Singatoka, and the facilitation of an open compet a competitive bidding process for public-private partnership, or PPP, that will modernize waste management infrastructure. This includes proper containment, digital collection, and environmental monitoring systems, which are crucial to preventing the ecological damage associated with open dumping. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, sir, beyond infrastructure, the Ministry is exploring the establishment of a waste management authority, which will centralize resources and expertise from all municipal councils to enhance waste management and recycling efforts. This centralized body, once established, will ensure improved governance, transparency, and consistent consistency in waste management policies across Fiji. Mr. Speaker, sir, the implement, implementation of this comprehensive waste management plan will yield numerous benefits for our nation such as significantly reducing environmental pollution and preserving our cultural heritage. The Singatoka Sand Dunes will be safeguarded and maintaining its status as UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mr. Speaker, sir, modern sorting and recycling facilities will also allow us to recover valuable resources from our waste stream, contributing to a circular economy. Current practice, as it is, Mr. Speaker, sir, 100% of the waste collection goes direct to the, to the landfill or dump site. So the improved waste management practices will reduce greenhouse emissions from this, uh, decomposing waste and dump fires, contributing to our national climate change mitigate, uh, mitigating 
our mitigation efforts. The entrance to Singapore town will be transformed, creating a more appealing gateway for tourists and enhancing the overall visitor experience. The speaker said, I want to assure this honorable house that the coalition government is committed to address the issue. Throughout this process, we commit to maintaining transparency, engaging with local communities, ensuring their voices are heard and their concerns are addressed. As the speaker said, the task, for, task force, uh, the task before us is significant, but not to other potential rewards. The implementation of a modern waste management system represents more than just an infrastructure project and symbolizes a commitment to sustainable development, environmental stewardship, and the preservation of our cultural heritage. The relocation of the Singatoka dump is not just a moving side. Mr. Speaker said it represents our commitment to cleaner, greener, and more prosperous future. This modern waste management system will safeguard our natural and cultural heritage, transform Singatoka into a more appealing destination, and contribute to climate change mitigation efforts by reducing harmful emissions from waste. The speaker said the government's actions demonstrate a dedication to sustainable development. By engaging the community and stakeholders will ensure that Singatoka town, as well as the entire Singatoka community and the entire Western division benefit from a more efficient and environmentally friendly waste management system. This comprehensive approach to waste management will turn a significant challenge into an opportunity for innovation, job creation, and sustainable growth. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.